Yeah, what it do, baby? Good morning. We are in the gym parking lot as usual. Y'all already know what time I'm on. About to go get swole. Got my Goku t-shirt. But um, I want to holler at you guys about these taxes, bro, for, for houses. So I'm a mortgage specialist. So I'm a glorified customer service agent for a mortgage company, right? So we have mortgages and in my department, I help people with their taxes, their insurance and their bills. Right now, over the past year, the amount of conversations and arguments I've had with people about their taxes and their insurance is crazy. And the reason why these conversations are so tough is because they can't pay their mortgage. They can't pay their mortgage because like you have your principal and interest for your loan, which is just the loan for the house, right? But for the house, it is required by federal law for you to have hazard insurance, right? That way the bank can get their money back if something happens. And you also have to pay taxes because we all have to pay taxes. Now, the taxes continue to go up across the board. It used to be, you know, you had a new housing development, a new school was built, so your taxes go up, right? But now, because of the cost of living and everything that's going on with our country, taxes are going crazy right now in every single state. And insurance. Insurance is going up because just the cost of living is going up and it's just re what's required for them to maintain everything as far as staff is, staffing is required and also to keep up with inflation. And, and then you got like natural disasters as well that keep popping up that makes people's properties, uh, you know, more expensive to insure. So you got all this stuff happening and the increases are crushing people. Like imagine you paying like $120 in taxes like a month, one, one year, you know, and then the next year it doubles, triples. I've seen people's taxes triple and their insurance double in a single year, in a single year. And like, I'm having these, these talks with people and they're like, bro, I can't pay this. You know, this is a tiny little house and I just barely, people were like signing up for these mortgages and barely being able to pay it. And then when the increase happens or our economic hardship happens, they can't take the, the blow, you know? And I'm not saying that they're stupid or anything because I would have did the same thing. This job was very eye-opening and showed me like, you know, kind of how to move when you get a mortgage because you have a lot of unexpected things happen. Um, including just regular repairs that, that are just expensive, like a new roof, plumbing, electrical. But man, it's, it's getting crazy out here, guys. Um, you know, just, just be aware if you, if you live in like a flood zone, like know the flood zone laws, because if they categorize or they change, you know, the flood zone map or the category of your flood zone in your area, you might have to pay, you know, hundreds or thousands of dollars more simply because you're now labeled a flood zone. Um, I've seen people, I've seen people's houses get appraised, bro, and their insurance get evaluated. I've seen the coordinates for where their house is located be incorrect and it cost the customer hundreds, if not thousands of dollars. I've seen a lot of stuff. Um, you know, just be aware of these taxes and these insurance policies. If your insurance is high, bro, shop around. Don't be loyal to insurance companies. Like, I, I don't care if your car is bundled. Like, go figure that out, bro. Or else you're gonna be paying like out the wazoo. The saddest conversations I've had on the phone is retired people. You know, these people bought these homes and like, you know, might be like early 2000s or whatever you know they bought it when they were like 50 or bought it when they were like 60 and now they're 80 now they're 70 and they can't pay it and they're like i stopped working over eight years ago i can't afford to pay this my taxes are too high and they're kind of screwed now at a certain age you do get tax exemptions if you file for it or if you have certain disabilities they do give you tax they do give you tax breaks and really uh you know get, you get some relief from that standpoint but yeah man it's getting hard you know know your math read your contract um and like no mortgage is exempt no type of mortgage or no type of loan for a house is exempt from tax increases or insurance increases, you know, that that has everything to do with your principal and your interest. You feel me? Like the the the, the type of loan you have has everything to do with your P&I. But, uh, but yeah, that's all I want to talk to you guys about. Something that I just noticed. 
over the past six months and these calls are getting worse people are getting more aggressive there's 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 not a more pissed off person in this world than a person that's about to lose their home and and they call they call and guess who picks up <laughs> <laughs> crazy <laughs> i mean it's getting rough with cars too but you know vehicles are only five years houses are for 30 but hope you guys have a good day uh this is my little piece my little tidbit on taxes and insurance for properties because i do this for a living i've had this job for like two years i'm about to give me a new job because this job sucks but i learned a lot about mortgages about loans taxes and insurance very knowledgeable what to do with this information because I'm too broke to get a house. I do not know. Post it on YouTube, I guess. I'll get a house eventually and that knowledge will be with me for life. You guys have a great day. Thanks so much for watching. I'm out. Peace.